And they say that the hard area is difficult. <laughs> Ah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ano 1800. I'm here, Martin. Today we'll be building another <laughs> living block, money block, ladies and gentlemen, because I need money. But also, I want to try out something because, ladies and gentlemen, last time we've tried to play it a little bit with my artillery ship. If you don't know, I've managed to outrange the big Berta or whatever you're gonna call this cannon, the big Betty. I've managed to outrange this thing. If you haven't watched the previous episode, well, then I have only one thing to tell you. If you have not watched the previous episode, then know that I'm greatly, greatly disappointed. And I know exactly where do you live, you maggot. And I have only one thing to tell you. Go watch the video, otherwise, this is you and your house. And I'm gonna do exactly this to you. Okay, this was supposed to actually explode, but it's not exploding. Hmm, okay, well, apparently I cannot give you threats. Agreed a peace deal. God damn it, I'm so disappointed right now. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, last time I've managed to build myself an artillery ship. If you don't know, I've managed to gather NPCs who increase the range of the battlecruiser so much that it's capable of outranging the big Berta cannon, right? So that's a great advantage. I am about to use this advantage because I found that there is one more item that I can try to use. As you can see, I got this guy. I've re uh, replaced the Dre over here. If you don't know, um, Ubisoft had decided to put a bunch of YouTubers into Ano 1800. Uh, just saying, Ubisoft, you're doing this shit wrong. You know, I am not in the game. Hello, where is me? <laughs> no, but we'll all honestly. There are a few YouTubers in the game. There are actually a few of them. Uh, so let me introduce you to some of them. Uh, if you don't know them, well, I'm not recommending them because they are really bad. You know what they have. Two, three million subscribers, you know, that says for itself, so, so they're so bad at the games, it's just terrifying, it's terrible. So, kinda, uh, kinda, kinda recommending this guy, his name is Arek Listkowski, he's actually a Polish guy, well, he was born in Poland, but actually he lives now in Sweden. Uh, I must say that he's a very chilling YouTuber, to, comparing to me, I am like a fucking bucket of magma, okay, he's like a bucket of milk. To be honest with you, but yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, his nickname on YouTube is Corales. He kind of plays Minecraft and building games. Then you have Dre over here. I did not know at the beginning that this is actually him. You know, because let's be honest over here, he used to have a better beard. It looks like somebody p grabbed a bunch of sticks and put it inside of a shit Dre. What the fuck is this, man? Come on, fix your fucking shit. So we got those two guys, and recently I found out that there's one more guy. Uh, his name is Blitz. So, actually, uh, when I started this YouTube thing, he was, I think, on around 100k subscribers or something like that. Right now, I think he's sitting on 2 million or something like that. So, yeah, he grew like crazy. And if you really enjoy reward games, then highly recommending his uh, Let's Plays because, well, they are actually quite well done. They are actually showing. Uh, that he is more than capable of playing harder games. So yeah, you have the great Frio uh, of YouTube, I guess, in the game. But anyway, I had Dre in my in my crew, right, on the ships because he got he gives me 50% more damage to buildings. Okay, I thought that that's good, but I found a replacement for him, uh, a guy that actually cares about how he looks, and he decided not to go with the stupid beard. <laughs> uh, he also gives me bonus damage to building, he gives me bonus damage to sailing ship, and he increases the range of my attacks by 15%. So in other words, uh, the alternator ship equipment is Vice Admirality de Glacia, so however we're gonna pronounce that guy, he gives you 10% range, then you have Vice Admiralta Palutisa, or whatever you're gonna pronounce that thing, he gives you another 10% of range, then you have Wild Anarchist, and yes, you get him from the Anarchist DLC, apparently. So you get additional 15%, and then you get yourself a telescope, which gives you another 15%. With all of those items combined, you outrange the biggest cannon in the entire bloody game. So today, what I want to do is I want to attack the main island of Lady Margaret Hunt. Why? Because she's a pain in my ass, and she constantly attacks my little settlements. You know, th there's not gonna be a deep story behind this attack. No, 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 no. It's just gonna be 
good old fashion revenge. As I'm waiting for my warfield to allow, uh, arrive at the coastline of uh, the capital city of Lady Margaret, the old cunt, as we call her around in our uh, circles, I also want to test out the expedition thingy, because uh, this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Recently, I found out that somebody have combined a crew for a ship that is capable of doing all of the expedition missions. The problem is that that guy designed the ship so that you have to uh, equip it with legendary equipment. Legendary equipment. So that means if you're gonna lose that ship, you're gonna lose some really powerful items. And I wanted to create something that is extendable. Something that, if you're gonna lose it, it's gonna hurt your budget, but it's not gonna be uh, like losing an actual legendary items. So I got a setup over here that is currently in testing, okay? And to be honest with you, I found myself a reward. Oh, lovely. Okay, minus 10 faith, but then again, I wanted my museum, so... I'm just gonna throw out this thing and grab this thing and probably that's a terrible decision, but let's do it. There we go. So, um, I'm currently doing testing of this and I really hope that eventually I'll be able to show you the ultimate build for a ship. I don't know how that thing is gonna go, but that's gonna be the thing we're gonna try to do probably in the future. Now, another thing I want to do today is I need to build myself another money block. And I also need to start building the World Fair. So, yeah, that's gonna be the thing I want to actually focus on today. So, can I upgrade this? Yes, I can't. Can I afford it? No, I can't. Why? I have no damn idea. What am I missing? I'm missing planks. Oh, would you look at that? Always missing something. Either planks or... Oh, yeah, I brought some, uh, some creatures over here because the queen wants me to build here. Uh, a museum, a zoo, sorry. She wants me to build a zoo. So I am more than keen into this decision because I want to build those things here either way. But first we have to deliver some planks. So let's grab some planks. I will have to build the zoo somewhere temporary just to advance with the quest. But eventually I think I'm gonna squeeze the zoo over here. So we're gonna have a very nice city. If you don't know, this is Cape Telani. It comes with the Sunken Treasure DLC, the biggest island in Tropico 1800. Oh, by the way, what? Again? Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, you're fucked, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I love my legendary squad. This legendary squad of battle cruisers is just so good. It's tremendously good. Now, I'm gonna show you the range of my artillery ships. So, this is one of the artillery ships. Now, let's see. Where is the range of the big Berfa? What does that think? There it is. See it. So this, and here you are, as you see, this is the range. You should see this little faint circle around uh, the, the cannon, right? This is its range. So, if I'll get close enough... And this is my range. <laughs> I can already fire at her defenses. Okay, maybe I have to put you to the side. Open fire as soon as you can! Now, I also have to assault the other sides. So that means... Okay, there's another fortification over here. Okay. The problem with the artillery ships is that they have to focus on fighting with the actual island defenses. So... I have to provide them with additional cover. But it should be not impossible. Also, what's this? You have some cannons here? <laughs> no, you don't. Well... Sucks to be you. As you look at that, I got enough resources to actually build myself a zoo. So temporarily, I'm gonna just squeeze it here. Equip zoo. Compound with any animal. Sure, your majesty. No problem. Oh, hell yeah. I'm actually trying to collect a set of... Uh, of animals. Oh, and now she wants me to build World's Fair. Well, but look at that. How convenient. Already on it, my queen. What the fuck you're talking about? Everybody can enter this stupid -ass zoo. Uh, this guy sometimes is like, what the fuck? Also, you got this thing, the music pavilion, which came recently with the botanic DLC. What the fuck is this? None other deserves this masterpiece. Oh, how lovely! What the shit? Increases the attractiveness for cultural items that belong to exotic species, Empire of the Eagle, Origin of Mankind, yada yada yada. So you're gonna play this? Sweet fancy. Bless oh! You. Oh, 
Holy shit! This is cool. This is actually cool. Holy shit! <laughs> I've heard that they actually put it sheets with music from the other Anno games. So you can actually collect them and put them over, the, over there and they're gonna play that music from one specific game. That's awesome. I'm gonna try to maybe collect later on some more. Is that my ship? No, I don't think so. No, that's not my ship. Oh, thank God. I thought for a second that's my ship. <laughs> Check out the range of this beauty. This is why this is called the artillery ship. <laughs> Suck it, Margaret. I'm gonna destroy your entire island and you will bow down before the one true king. The looting fleet has arrived already. Good. Continue the bombardment. I want this island down. And I want it down today. We just need to keep eye on the biggest cannons. Okay, there's the range. See? This is the range of the big cannon. And this is my range. Slowly. <laughs> what you gonna do? If you can't reach me, Margaret. So let's challenge Big Bertha for a duel. Okay. Don't get too close. There you go. <laughs> Fire! Oh, look. You have a biggest cannon. Too bad you don't have range. <laughs> Continue the bombardment. <laughs> Big Bertha's already destroyed. Big Betty. Nobody cares how you're called. Uh, and yet, just so you know, one single ship... One of those ships, one of the artillery ships, cost me more or less two million to make. Two bloody million! Alright? So yeah, I think I invested the money in the proper way. <laughs> Your is under attack. How dare you? How dare you? Sink this pathetic swimming can at the bottom of the sea. I have to give her one thing. Conquering this island is gonna take a while. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, sure, it's gonna take a while, but the thing is, I'm not losing any ships. I took some damage because I was too greedy, but I'm not taking any damage whatsoever. And she is losing her most powerful island right now. I want to see how her economy drops to the ground and underneath it. Obviously, this would never work on actual players because eventually they would probably master their fleet and try to attack me, but with Margaret, who constantly is stupid and trying to do stupid shit, it's working perfectly. So, Margaret, tell me, how do you feel? How do you feel about my revenge? I finally got to you and you are naked and with your ass exposed and I really discussed this view. Holy shit, woman! And they say that the hard AI is difficult. <laughs> Ah, I laugh at you. Ah, there you go. This is what I like to see. Yes. Yes. Now, if I'm gonna try to conquer this thing, I'll be able to actually loot her island. So, please, Margaret, show me what you have gathered for this entire game. And the game froze. And I think it crashed. Oh. Okay. I will not rest until it is ah. returned to me. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, I thought you're gonna have better items Empire. inside. Seriously? You didn't have any cool items in the fucking zoo? Oh, disappointed. I was honestly counting on something cool, but apparently it's not even the case. Did you hope God might Attention for the admiral. Yeah, but I actually hope that you would have better loot, but. Better yeah. An attack. I really thought you're gonna have something Seriously? better. What a disappointment. What a true disappointment. Ready. Well, I honestly were hoping for more. This is a truly great disappointment right now. Tremendously. Tremendously great disappointment. And the best part is now I can destroy this. 
And eventually Margaret is gonna try to rebuild this thing, so. Yeah, I wish I had good luck. She's gonna need it. Oh, finally you're at war! Too bad I have to actually weaken you to the point where fucking Hugo can try to do something. Pathetic weakling. What the fuck is this? Why do you have a quest of the village? <laughs> Yo, you guys have a problem? All going swimmingly. Okay. Pronto. Help the. <laughs> okay, you want, you want a picture? Yeah, sure. I want to just know how the fuck you bent the <laughs> laws of physics over here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Rags to riches. Oh, thank you. And an epic flower for me to use. Yeah. Also, they are bending fucking physics. What the actual shit, man? Okay. Well, whatever. We are building a money block here, and we're gonna try to later on start the building of the uh, world fair and see how that thing is gonna go. So yeah, that's gonna be the thing the I need to do today, and I need to get more wood. Send all of the wood back to the main island. Uh. Is this still considered an island or an actual continent? That's a good question, I guess. I'm really disappointed that we haven't found anything interesting on Islet of Margaret. I thought we are gonna find legendary items for the museum or something, but... I don't know why I haven't found anything. What? What do you want? Robbed. Yeah, sure. Good thing I got an investigator on my, uh, on my ship, so this is immediately 100% success. See? Told you. It's a good crew, man. It's really a good crew. Eventually this ship should return and we should try to get some cool ass rewards. I hope at least. Right, I've ordered the fleet to return back home. Uh, they are no longer needed at Ladies Margaret Island. I just hope that she will be able to rebuild this thing at some point. I've already seen that she is building uh, a shipyard on her next island. And she is apparently rebuilding everything. She's been like crazy. I wonder. Wait, what? With what are you fighting? Oh! But you look at that! A transport ship! You are many! Yeah, that is true! Most of you are already at the bottom of the sea! How good! The worst thing is that I think Dr. Hugo wants to establish a city on that island. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be hilarious. Oh, that's gonna be really hilarious. Yeah, he's gonna establish a city over here before Margaret can rebuild it. <laughs> Competitor is a settlement, let me guess. Yeah, just as I thought. <laughs> What's this? Lumberjack productivity. Nah, fuck you. Not worth the time. Nope. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> you know what? I should probably try to buy out this island and allow Margaret to actually attack it. Because otherwise she won't have the... Your standing suffers an about face. Otherwise she won't be able to rebuild fully to her might. Yeah. <laughs> has been oh, this is so funny. So let's get ourselves some engineers over here because we need to eventually get it to investors. There we go. Look at this thing. Oh yeah. Money boy. This That's is how I make what? money. This is how I make the money roll. Unload the planks. Get back here. Load the other crap. What's the other ship? Why you're on this side? Oh, and you're not doing anything, so I'm gonna send you here as well to gather more stuff. Okay, the fleet has arrived. So, you guys... Hold on a second, I'm missing one ship. Ah, there you are. I'm gonna move you to the side harbor. And you can unload here fairly. Without much of a problem. Dr. Hugo actually claimed Island of Margaret. <laughs> Why? You're not, you're not supposed to have this thing, dude. Oh well, I'm just gonna buy out this island. I mean, he always, when he buys my stuff, he always says that everybody wants to share. So I hope he wants to share with me. The greater the divide between... Oh, you don't like it when I want to share with you? I mean, when you want to share with me, even when you don't actually want to share with me? Well, what's a disappointment, Dr. Hugo? What happened to the voice of the people? Huh? Huh? Stupid ass hypocrite. Okay, uh, we also need to get more people, if I remember correctly. Yeah, first I want to develop this thing, and then we're gonna try to build the world fair and see how that is gonna go. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah, I've built a fire department over here. Because reasons. Hmm. Do I want to move it around, maybe? Yeah, probably moving this thing around would be, would be cool. Just a little tiny bit. 
Okay, maybe a bit more. Just this side over here. So it's actually gonna look cool. Beautiful. And the final few houses. There you go. Engineer block. How do I concentrate? Uh, normally, you just close your eyes and you do the shit. Right, so now I have to provide you with electricity. So temporarily we have to build a power plant over here, connected with this thing. This is just a temporary solution. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Uh, okay, you don't have electricity, but that's okay, because once we're gonna build this thing, I'm just gonna move the power plant as we did last time and supply this block over here with electricity. So that should not be a problem either way. Uh, okay, so just have to wait for electricity right now. What do you want from me? Oh no, on another event! City of Gold! El Dorado. Read your map. Hire a guide. No, let's read the map. 40%. The trail ends somewhere. Okay, so I can try to use faith and that's gonna be 65. Aha! Secret passage. So now we can use navigation 100% or clear the rockfall by 50%. Okay, let's go with navigation. Ooh! Found something. Oh. Okay. Right, you know what? Drop the mummy because this is a part of a set. Glorious. <laughs> Screw the mummy, throw it overboard. <laughs> and also, I think this is a perfect opportunity to start doing the. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's Her Majesty the Queen, you maggot. Right. Yes, 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 whatever. So you want me to go over here? Sure. Oh, great. I already got a quest. So you use this thing, and you're basically allowed to do some diving, and you get yourself some resources. Then I go. Nice. Do you think I got this far by throwing stuff away? Yes. Bring that rubbish to me. I'll polish it up. Okay, okay, whatever. And also, I should have some items for the actual scavenging ship. I have a legendary item back at my main island. Uh, let's see, do I have it somewhere over here? Dug up more than bones. Yep. Not half bad. Ah, there is one. There is a second one. Okay, I want those two on board. And we need to make ourselves... Uh, what is that thing? We need to transmute an item. This thing. I need sand, I need iron blocks, I need something else. What is this last thing? Scrap, and you need nice scrap. Okay. So we need to get ourselves nice scrap, and this is gonna be very, very important. Also, I need to provide you with some type of an escort. Because otherwise, you're gonna get destroyed really easily. Okay, for now, my Pythorian fleet is not doing anything, so... I'm gonna send you just to escort this guy a little bit. Deliver old... How much more do you want? One final look. Oh my god. That's a lot of money. And yes, I'm building myself a vineyard in the middle of the city. <laughs> Best quality wine, boy! And this is my favorite song in the entire game. Yay! Because you can sing. You can sing this along. You can also just ignore. My favorite song. <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da. Hey, I'm gonna shut up now. Hi. And everybody. Cobbled something together. Yep. Here we go. Oh yeah! Thanks, man. How I like it. Shut up. <laughs> okay, we need to gather some more resources. Just say the word. Uh, some more wood would be needed. That's for sure. 
after this ship, and you please go over here. And the song has ended. <laughs> Sad story. Right, you guys get to the harbor so you can get loaded. There you go. Right, Queenie wants me to start building this thing, but I don't have the resources yet. Okay, you should now be able to get upgraded. There you go. Look at this thing. Ooh, only a few houses. That's not good. <laughs> this is a tawdry spot. Shut up! I'm working my best for you to be happy. Also, how are my resources? That's an important uh, question. Uh, okay, the important resources, glass, windows, okay, that's okay. Yeah, some of the resources are going low, but not all of them. Okay, champagne range is definitely going low. So, that's why I've built those things in the middle of the city, but I think I have to build additional four. So, you know what, just for the time being, let's move the zoo, and let's build you somewhere over here. This is just a temporary solution. Because later on, obviously, we'll build it in more permanent place. Oh, here. Hey! I can also add later on some more animals. That'd be probably cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn off the cars. You're not Just supposed to. Oh. Okay, it's actually just turned off. Yeah, making the cars and making the gramophones. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. How much you pay for this? Ulti 93? Oh my god. It's not worth it. And would you look at that? Now the old fuck actually is offering me some interesting uh, documents over here that will lead me probably to some exotic items. None of this thing is for Cape Talani though. Okay, give me some items for Cape. There you go. This is what we need. Machines and Cape. Artifacts. Legendary item. Ho ho ho! This looks so bad. <laughs> What I have created, oh my god. Speaking of the devil, how's my expedition going? Oh, we looks like we have way. found the thing. Right, so... Crafting or faith? Okay, let's go with crafting. And it should be done. We should be returning home now. Okay, maybe not. Maybe there's one more event to do. So, if you don't know how the treasure works, this is actually really cool. Uh, you have yourself a treasure, right? And you do something like this. And it shows you an island. And basically now, based on the picture, you have to figure out which island in this question is it. it is. This is yeah, hi. Uh, and then you'll be able to find yourself a treasure. And I think... It's this island over here. And you should see something... Odd in the water, but... Okay, that's, it's not always... Okay, I don't think it's this one. It's not this one. It could be... No, I don't think so. Okay, hold on a second. You can always open the map and check again. There's a small thingy over here. An island with a small thingy. Not this. Not this, that's for sure. Not... No, it has to be this one. Wait, not this one. This one. Right? The small thingy. Oh, there it is. My first decision was right, and he gives me, for 30,000 he gave me additional quests, but because I have the entire map revealed. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome another NPC of Cape Talani. The uh, expedition of the La Corona. Yeah, the same fraction from where the, this guy is coming from. La Corona was always an empire of seafarers. There's salt yeah, in salt in your blood, that's for sure. <laughs> so, Mr. Admiral Vincent Silva is part of the Racorona, and in the, the sunken treasure you'll see, you will meet, apparently... Let you build there, did she? Uh, more yeah, you will meet Vaseco Oliveira. So, he's basically a guy who will be swimming around and annoy the living shit out of you. Uh-huh. Looks like the queen have acknowledged that... Yeah, there you go. I am Vasco Oliveira. I conduct the solemn and discreet business of none other than King Juao of Akaroa. That's La Carona to be pleased. We have come only to pay our respects beside the grave of a once great empire. He also has a really cool ass ship. It's obvious why they're here. It's the same reason we're here. For the emblematic power that scepter will grant to whoever owns it. But we can't afford a war with La Corona. Feeble though they may be. So I'm afraid you'll have to rely on wits to beat this Oliveira to it. Not you worry, your highness. 
I'm the best man on the duty. This is actually cool that in the Anno games you don't exactly get a campaign per se. You just get, you know, some additional dialogue options. We have to figure out... Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You have to figure out most of the stuff yourself, right? That was especially the thing back in the previous Anno uh, games, where you had NPCs who were really aggressive towards you, and you never knew why, so you had to sunk their ships in order to gather specific items from them, so you could reveal what exactly is happening. So, anyway, you get yourself some maps, you go to a specific place, you dive in, and you get some resources. And speaking of... Ooh! Would you look at that? I got a legendary item for my museum. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay. And yes, if you're gonna lose your scavenger ship, you're gonna lose all of the items on board. So try not to lose it and actually give it some proper escort. Just saying. Unless, well, you want to lose all of those fighty items. Then by all means, do it. But don't tell me I didn't warn you. And my expedition ship has returned. Let's see what they've brought to me. Okay, what you have? Rare. Epic, nice, and epic, nice. New orders. And you got another epic because of the decisions you have made. Sweet! Okay, for now I don't have anything interesting to send you on, so just get In to the port time. and, I don't know, rest the crew or whatever. And instead of this thing, what are we gonna find? This is part of the quest, by the way, of the La Corona. Come on, give me something cool. <laughs> I want to see something cool, man. And the winner is... Journal of my father's strategist, Nadeski. Sounds Slavic. The okay. city is now closer to magnificence. Okay, you want me to deliver it this to log log is in a terrible state. Did you not bring any art restorers with you? No. Ah, okay, so if she skipped it a quest, I was supposed to get artistans on the island. So since I already have them, these quests have been skipped. Okay, that's good. And we almost finished the block over here. And yes, I got a town hall ready for this thing as well. So we're gonna make another money block out of this. Though I thought I'm gonna get some more influence points from this. Shouldn't I have more? Hmm, hard to say. Maybe I just screwed up something. And the power plant have been moved. So now you're gonna get a bunch of electricity. And we'll be able to advance you to the next level. Come on. Somebody move in. What's this? Happiness. Income per house, plus 10. Ooh, nice. Uh, this scavenger ship arrived here? There he is. Okay, so he's gonna drop the book very soon, so I'll be able to start the research. And... Yo, come on, man! <laughs> Why the final person does not want to move inside? It's cozy inside, trust me on that! I know what I'm talking about. Ew, man. Ew, man! Yeah, that's nice. Okay, drop all of the crap here. This, this, and this. Happy vision of yours. Yep. We're lucky. There's even a faint possible of returning this journal to a semblance of its original condition. We must first see to the bindings. People tell me a flower-based glue be gentle on such a delicate manuscript, that an acid one. And that we will also want to precision and bunch of modern shrink machines of these switches. Sure, that should be easy to get. Ahem. <clears throat> Yo, you don't have... Oh, I probably don't have flower over here. Of course. I have everything. Expect for the fucking flower. And the cargo has been delivered. One is no dunce-hatted imbecile, but I rather think we'll need a class swat or two to decide. New orders? A university with a budding college of paleographers to decipher Nadaski's shameful handwriting. Oh, come on. Can it be that bad, your highness? Collect your work. Queens usually like things done quickly. Tut. To, 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 how about Queen is gonna try to do it yourself? Sell uh, to artist stores and collect your reward. Uh, I'm here. Do you may have something for? Oh, it's all much clearer now. Do thank your expert bods at the university for all their brio. Read. Okay, how do I read this thing? Game save. Uh, I just threw it over, but. <laughs> Ah, there you go. Following the Queen's command to intercept Admiral Silva's flotilla. Oh, really? We arrived at Qu Cape Talani at 1 p.m. La Corona entire armada is here. The flagship especially being the imposing size and might. Uh, La Corona fleet is vast in terms of size and number. Both our is staffed with seamen. <laughs> <clears throat> My accent is gonna kill me here. 
Both Seasons and Loyal. We have a chance of winning a decisive victory against the enemy here at the Trelawney, but not if we fixate on recovering this uh, sector as the king is assisting. I admit, taking the talisman would greatly damage La Corona's national spirit, but what of our own, when thousands of our more sailors are sent to their deaths for a trinket? No, we must have no other thought than employing the very best tactics to win the day. Since we can no longer leave the safety of the fortress atop the cliffs, we may be able to blame the fog for not... Uh, okay, there is where a few incidents today, yada yada yada. Lastly, we had a skirmish with a ship of the line near the old watchtower between the three large islands due to west. She sank with all of her cargo. Skirmish with a ship of the line... Old watchtower between the three large islands. Admiral Nadaski writes that he defied the orders of my father. That treasonous Jack Tar. Father should have had his head. Fleet awaiting orders. Yeah, well, but apparently, uh, thanks to him, you, wo you won, so... Uh... I wouldn't exactly want to put him on a f uh, hit his head on a spike, you know? Queenie. Uh, find the location mentioned in Nandaski. Between three large islands. Watchtower. Watchtower between three... So, is this one over here? Yeah, we have three large towers, so apparently this is the one. And La Corona is also here. I just hope that they won't try to fire upon me because that's gonna be a problem. But anyway, my new housing block, ladies and gentlemen, is finished. So now, the only thing we need to do is destroy this power plant. Destroy this. Build ourselves the Hound Hall, which is gonna cost me 20 influence. And equip it with the most fines of items. The Architect. The... Professor? I guess? No, wait, that's not him. Uh, Mr. Garrick? Yeah. And, of course, the book. Uh, not this one. Wait, where's the fucking book? I didn't unload it? Station. There it is. I forgot to unload it. So, with all of this, the only thing remaining to do is basically swim and money. So, allow me to introduce you. Watch the income. Watch the income right now. ha -ching! Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh yeah, all of this money. Mine, 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 <laughs> mine and mine only. Very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> yes, your highness, this is exactly the place. I'm about to dive very soon, so if you could please hold a minute. Dive immediately. Bring her highness the items she desire. Found it. We found it. Wait, that's it. Wait. Old the crane. Where is the grand eagle at its top? Oh, is this is but a portion of the rod. Oh, that's not good. Oh well. It's On no great way. secret then. We are both looking for the holy scepter of Capon, among other things. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> whatever, man. Vicent thought it clever to split our national treasure and the scepter across three different ships. But with the scepter dismantled, belief evaporated. Hmm. Vincent, you say? The same Vincent who's commanding this ship over here, who's just standing and looking at us like some idiot. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode as over here for now. Uh, I think I'm prepared more than ever for the new expansion. So, yeah, I'm just gonna return the fleet back home. Oh, I forgot about one thing, obviously. A world's fair sitting atop this magnificent metropolis. Uh, it's not exactly in the top. It's actually in the middle of it, but I still hope you will enjoy it, your highness. Yeah, building this thing is gonna take a while. <laughs> That's for sure. We need more peasants! I definitely need more peasants. We need 500 peasants over here. That's not even close to the number I need. Yep, meet more peasants, that's for sure. And finally, I can begin phase one or phase two, whatever I think. There we go. Construction will commence, warehouse are nearby, so it's just gonna take a while to actually build this thing. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode over here. Just a side note, if you'll be playing this thing on your own, remember that you want to go to Old Nate and get yourself the, uh, the scanner thingy, the echolocator. 
this is really fucking important, like really important. So obviously you could try to get the weaker versions, but as soon as you can, try to get the legendary one. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be really, really bloody as worth it. But anyway, for now, I'm rambling too much, so I'm just gonna leave this thing as over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please absolute. Absolute. And the next video.